What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing a rebuild of the Tennessee Titans. I know you're probably thinking, why? And like, why? Why do they need one? Well, they probably don't need one that much, but we always get to every single team. The Titans are on the list. They're playing today. You know, it was either the Colts or the Titans and I felt like the Colts are going to lose this one, making the next time we do a Colts rebuild. And I know there's a lot of you Colts fans that have been really mad at me you know, it'll make it a little bit better, all right? So probably a Colts rebuild sometime next week. We'll see. And I think maybe a special rebuild this Sunday, uh, maybe a 10-year or something like that. I don't know. But this is what the Titans roster looks like. Of course, Tannehill has been getting some love from EA lately, uh, which is surprising because quarterbacks usually, unless they're the big-name guys, don't get that many upgrades. But Tannehill is an 87 overall, 32-year-old quarterback. Obviously, I would like for him to get superstar, so please do that. Derrick Henry at 94 overall, a guy at one point the Titans were thinking of trading or just letting go, you know, early on it was looking kind of like 50-50, super inconsistent, would they move on, would they not, but obviously now looking like an absolute beast, I still, whenever I think of Derrick Henry, I still remember the picture of him next to Eddie Lacy, and he made Eddie Lacy look like a child, in fairness, Derrick Henry will make a lot of people look like children on and off the field, Reach for it, very useless ability, considering a lot of players just have it in general. And then armbar is really good. Uh, freight train, interesting. So uh, wide receivers, A.J. Brown, probably a little underrated here. 82 overall, still very developable, as just like Corey Davis. It's also nice to see Johnny Smith play better uh, in real life. I will admit, though, this is really bad for him, if I'm not mistaken. Like, he is playing out of his mind, is he not? Like, why is he only a 78 overall? He should probably be like an 84, maybe higher. This this seems disrespectful. Like, he's getting a... I can't even say he's getting love, because honestly, I feel like this is what he was last year. Was he not? I don't know, but I thought Johnny Smith was crushing it. Was he not? He was playing really well. I know, you know, maybe his stat line doesn't look insanely good, but six touchdowns, and I'm pretty sure he's doing really good in the block game, uh, run blocking game, so uh, super disrespectful there. Of course... Taylor Lewan, 86 overall, but injured for the season. I think Johnny might even have an injury, but I don't think it's long-term, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, we're looking... Does he have alopecia? Well, it's not going to show here, but uh, I think he might. You know, it happens. Whatever, you know, he just... he looks It looks good on him. But, like, I'm pretty sure he does, because he has, like, no hair at all. Like, nowhere. Well, <laughs> that we can see. <laughs> Hello! Uh, looking at the rest of the team, though, a lot of players uh, that we Madden fans love that they ended up getting. Clowney, guy that a lot of people would pick up in free agency late last Madden. And then Desmond King, a guy that a lot of people try to go for in free agency. 85 overall. I don't know how much it's going to cost, but uh, we got to make it happen, right? Like, this is just, it's clear cut. Really looking at what this team needs. Maybe a safety hooker has been playing a decent bit of snaps in real life. And then looking at the D-line, of course, DT, d -end. Maybe even another corner. Fulton, I don't know. I think normal de development for a corner is just hard to develop. Uh, and then uh, Jayon Brown has uh, star development, which is nice to see. And then obviously the super hit monster himself, Rashawn Evans, 96 hit power. That might be the highest hit power in the game for a linebacker, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and honestly, as far as every player goes, it's top three, I would imagine, for hit power. Let's take a look real quick. I'm, I'm just curious. You know, Bobby Wagner at 92. That shows how good of hit power he has. 96 is the highest there. Uh, looks like the highest is Demario. No, it's Jalen Smith at outside. And then at left out, it is Von Miller. I don't know if uh, Perfect is a free agent or not. Looking at the safeties, I don't think it really matters to be looking like <laughs> looking at everything, but I'm just curious, you know. That's all I can really say. It might be the highest. Yeah, Jamal and Keanu are lower. Wow. Highest hit power in the entire game. Told you you can hit hard. I mean, Titans fans are like, uh, obviously. Uh, but, yeah, let's I mean, let's get right into it right away. There's nothing really else to say. I'm debating if I want to use a real roster or not, because I know a lot of people have been saying it's kind of getting old. It's you know, kind of old news, but maybe we can land a quarterback late, because, you know, Tannehill's not going to last forever. If he doesn't get superstar dev, he's going to start regressing hard. I don't know. We'll, we'll see kind of... Hmm. It's tough because we are going to make this team 6-2 and two and then go from there. This is a tough one. Uh, what do we do? Do we do real? Do we? 
decimal system. I don't know. If you guys want to see real uh, draft classes in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Also, maybe let me know by liking and subscribing, following on Twitter.com slash Jerome P. Care, second channel P. Care Plays, and normally we would have a stream at least all the way up until, like, Thursday night. But I don't know. I think uh, with the PlayStation coming out today, I may be a little busy for, like, the entire weekend. J just saying. <laughs> but we'll see. Regardless, let's actually get onto it. No one wants to hear your sellout, you freaking loser. And I'm talking about you guys, not mine. Clearly, I, I would never sell out. All right, we have our re-signings already, and Desmond King wants, like, the exact same he would normally want, whether he's uh, an 85 or an 89, which definitely hurts... Looking at the re-signings here, uh, I mean, you got some names. Janu is a four-year... This is tough, dude. Like, that is, like... That is classic tight end money, but he's a 78 overall. I mean, I guess I see them signing him long-term in real life. Jayon, I think that's a clear-cut signing. Uh, you know, hasn't really, like, done insanely well. You know, he's been pretty much around the same for years now, but totally fine. Corey Davis, another guy I still can't tell. Is he the is he the guy there? I mean, obviously, A.J. Brown's kind of the guy, but, like, is he going to be one of the guys? I don't know. Uh, but I will tell you this. Our money situation is bad. I mean, we're keeping good players. Let's see Clowney, because in fairness, he's not that great, right? Yeah, 86 power move. This is tough. I kind of want to see how he does. I may let Clowney hit free agency. Like, call me crazy, but I, I just don't see the value there. This is a huge game. 10-5 and five for the division, and we win it. Texans just barely miss out on leading the division. I do not see that happening in real life, believe it or not. But, of course, an 11-5 and five season for the Tennessee Titans. Hopefully going to get a little healthier next season as well. But right now, that doesn't matter because we are in it to win it. Plus 20 morale. We did go with an AI class. Once again, Jaguars at 2-14. and 14. Maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, maybe we should just use a real class even when because... Even when, even then, because obviously the Jaguars, you know, top tier front runners for a good quarterback, completely changed the division, whether it's us or not. Tannehill, if that's not superstar numbers, I don't know what is. Uh, Darrington Evans stole from Henry, but really good numbers regardless. And then AJ Brown. We're going to have a QB with superstar and AJ Brown with superstar. Huge numbers there. Looking at the O line, not bad considering, you know, makeshift last second, put them together numbers. Of course, Clowney puts up 10 and a half, which, you know, for modern numbers, it's basically like having like 18 sacks. Jeffrey Simmons, decent. And, you know, there it is. Proof of, uh, you know, Harold Landry, four and a half. Maybe we re-sign Clowney and then let uh, Harold Landry go. Maybe that makes more sense. I don't know. Looking at the awards, though, we might actually have some. MVP Tannehill is the second best quarterback in the league. Maybe he gets best QB just because, you know, he doesn't have the rushing numbers, perhaps. And he doesn't. Cam just barely steals all of the AFC stuff, which sucks. AJ Brown, best wide receiver. A couple of Texans awards in there as well. And here we are going against the Buffalo Bills. 84 overall team for us, 10 and 5. They're a 10 and 6, 84 overall as well. Last second Clowney signing. That's going to cost us, isn't it? All right, going to the end of the game. It'd be nice to see Tennessee win against at least the Bills. The Bills and Tennessee Titans seem kind of like almost similar teams. Like they don't have, you know, outside of Henry, obviously, they don't really have a. A superstar god. Nah, they do have Tredavious as well for the Bills. So, I don't know. I, I don't know. I like... I, I don't think they have the guy yet, right? Nah, Derrick Henry's good enough. Running backs this day and age, his size, doing what he does is very rare. Yo! That's the hands down will be worst performance ever against us what even is that one for 17 eight yards a completion percentage of five single digit completion percentage oh my lord henry did well johnny did well aj did well defensively Clowney, be do good for us and we know to sign you back okay i mean don't get me wrong a lot of picks suck 700 punting yards what are they, what? Well, we got that one win. Once again, these types of rebuilds where it's a decent team to start. If they win the Super Bowl year one, it kind of ruins the entire process. Because obviously, it's not hard to get to the playoffs these days. You know, seven teams per conference. 
you know that it's that's like what half the league basically just about half the league makes the playoffs now uh you know it's not the craziest thing in the world so making the playoffs even winning a game isn't the hardest thing but once you get to you know the conference and then the super bowl then it's like okay well where do we go from here obviously the team has lots of needs still uh, but they might have just enough pieces to fill the holes no that will not the ravens doing well Huge rushing touchdown. If that's not Lamar, I'm going to be mad and sad at the same time. Smad. I, I don't know, dude. 21 to 10, start of the fourth. A. Hey, hello. Oh, that's going to be tough to counter. Five minutes left. The Ravens, if they can't get down the field, which they can't. Speaking of can't get down the field, we get bailed by the flags. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. Tennessee is moving on. Baltimore does. And Atlanta, if you're a bird, you choke. Basically, you know, clean up the environment, kids. Pick up your sodas and your and your plastics. Uh, Ryan Tannehill absolutely crushed it. Lamar Jackson running back. Oh, it was Lamar, actually. Ironically, no, it wasn't. It was Melvin. Did they actually fix Sim, though? 22 attempts for 131 rushing. I like it. I like it, EA. I don't know if this is coincidence. Or what's the story? But good stuff. AJ Brown, 151, two touchdowns. Uh, Humphreys, yikes. Uh, but he did have a touchdown, so I can't really say much there. Sacks, Calais, really good numbers. And kicking, they missed. Okay, I feel bad because, I mean, I get one was blocked, so fair enough. But two missed field goals from Tucker in the game. They win the game if it's not for that. That's insane. Well, they don't win. They tie it. Right? We were up by... No, we were up by four. They would have won. But here we are, like we were saying. <laughs> Championship Browns. Okay, it's the Cleveland Browns. They, they they like to humble every single team they face. So that is... Uh, we'll see. We're, you know, we're safe. All right, going to the end of the game. Cleveland already scoring seven. We do get seven back. Cleveland gets stopped. Second quarter, we are driving 14 points. I mean, I don't ever see the Titans actually... Sometimes I do actually see them win the Super Bowl or not even win it, but usually they I do see them make it. Cleveland misses their two-point opportunity. Five minutes left, and I'm going to come in just to give them a fair chance. Uh, I'm just going to run Coach Suggs. Uh, Jones is kind of bad, right? So we'll we'll, uh, we'll run Jones here. Oh, he's kind of hammered. They dump it off to Hunt. Not the worst call in the world because obviously you have very limited time, but three timeouts, so... Not the worst call in the world at all. Go back to Jones. There's no way Tennessee's going to win the Super Bowl year one. Like, there's just no freaking way, dude. They go underneath again, and once again, this game, really bad. I mean, why is he not just running straight to the out-of-bounds line? Not only does he get more yards, but he saves one of those touchdowns. And hell, you know, with that run game of Cleveland, maybe you even run the ball, which would be really surprising. Inside and almost picked off. Fourth and one, eight seconds left. This is where you got to get inside, and they're going to run a Hail Mary with fourth and one. If you don't audible this to a run, you're on crack cocaine in real life. I'm just going to be honest. It's going to take the shot deep. I'm not going to inf... That was close. But it's not close enough. I actually want to run with uh, Derrick Henry once. I haven't used Derrick Henry in this Madden. Didn't really use him last Madden. Seems like I used Derrick Henry when he was bad. Well, not bad, but not great. There you go. Nice little run for three. Oh, my God. Derrick Henry's a freak. But here it is. Tennessee going on to the Super Bowl year one. Gotta love it. Baker usually goes gets let go to free agency right away. So we'll see there. Derrick Henry, 16 for 101. Uh, Evans, yeah, you're not going to be starting anytime soon. So relax yourself. I mean, he was maybe too relaxed. Clowney with two sacks. No picks. Field goals are perfect. So no blaming there. Yay. Year one Super Bowl. <laughs> By the way, um, I, I don't understand why. I didn't get to read it because that's very quick. But that tag thing there, why doesn't it just say, in general, don't be mean to others, right? Like, there's still people that are going to be mean to people based on the way they look or this or that. Like, obviously, you can't really see someone necessarily. But, like, you can't always see their religion or their race or anything. And people are still going to say it. So, you know, it should say all that and then say, just in general, be nice to each other. Like, there's just no point. We all have so many things going on. You know, like, well, what's the point? Like, really? But going against the 8-8 eight and eight Niners. Okay, this is interesting. And the DevOps are here. I love to see it. Ryan Tannehill, 32 years old. Superstar development traits. AJ Brown, 24, about to be. Uh, well, I guess Tannehill is 33. Superstar development trait. Defensively, could see 
Evans? I don't know why I said it like that. And we did see Evans. Superstar development trade for Rashawn Evans, who I believe needs a contract now, right? No, he doesn't, really. I swear in that Titans franchise, he needed a contract like instantly. No Devon for King, none for uh, Adoree. Uh, none for anyone other than those three names we've seen. But all three of those names are huge, and I am very happy to have them. Here we are, though. 88 Niners, 86 Titans. Let's go. Last game. Can they do it? Year one. Oh, Lord. I have seen them a few times, but I don't think I've ever seen them win it. Usually, they're like the losing team. All right, going to the end of the game. They can't score. We get down the field after the stop. I mean, right now, we're winning on possessions, but they are winning on points. 10 to 6. Huge drive. Do the Niners even have the firepower to, like, counteract this? Like, I, did, I don't know if they do. Because I said that, of course, they will. And this has been a wild one. Five-point deficit. No team wants to win. Apparently, there's been a kickoff. 30-19, they convert. Oh, Lord, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Like, once again, I don't want the Titans to win here. But at the same time, I mean, it's it's just it's just bound to happen. And I'm going to help out. Screw it. Screw it. One part, I don't want them to win because it's early. Another part, I do want them to win because we can put up an insane, uh, you know, resume here with a realistic squad. And then another one is, I don't want the Niners to win in general. There we go. I don't want the Niners to win in general. But more importantly, I don't want the Niners to win with such a terrible record. <laughs> like, they deserve it less than anyone. Kittle, good tackle. Timeout. 11 seconds left. They have to take this to the end zone. I'm going to actually start playing here. I don't care. I want to win now. I just... All right, Clowney. It's time. Time to get absolutely hammered. And the Niners win the game. There's no way. There's no way. Actually, no way. This is where you obviously have to come with the house. Because if you can take this back for, you know, two or whatever... Which you don't, uh, you know, you would have had a chance. We need them to kick a squib. We need the ball to go very far forward, and then we got to try to get as close as we can. Oh, that is the perfect freaking kick, dude. How do they do that? How do they do that? You have got to be kidding me. As far as the Titans in real life go, I, I don't see an option where they're not running something with Derrick Henry here. Right? Like, you just can't. It's got to be to Derek. Stiff arm. He does not get it. And wow. The ultimate drive there. No Super Bowl win. The Niners clutch up in the back of the end zone with a one-hander. Another super heartbreaking Super Bowl loss for the Tennessee Titans. That one would probably sting more than any. Nah, not really. Nah. I was going to say maybe more than the one yard. Nah, not even close. Not even close. Especially when your offense played the way it did. You know, Tannehill really did not play well. You know, the running game was terrible. It was really just a game that they were playing to lose, honestly. Like, you got to, you can't, you know, you can't play not to win, you know? You got to play to win. Of course, having Nick Bosa when he's not supposed to be around here probably helps a little bit. But what can I do? You know, I can't, I can't change anything. No, that's their roster. EA should have that already set. Well, uh, um, that sure was something. <laughs> Clowney wants the exact same contract, yet he's a year older. Uh, he's already regressing. I, th I think we messed it. But at the same time, 20 mil per year for a pass rusher when we have Harold. I don't know. We might have messed up. We, I'll be honest. We may have messed up. However, we'll be fine. We're going to let Mr. S could tag him oh we can't even afford him anyways okay so we would have been screwed regardless right franchise tag 20 we're just gonna let him go we we really don't have much of an option there i'm not super mad about it now we have no kicker now because i went cheap mode but yeah this team kind of needs to go cheap mode they don't really oh here we go justin i'm not saying that we're locked in with this fella but you know at least we got somebody we get rashad smith back and then we might try to get this guy we do have like 10 mil to work with at least, so we will have, uh, you know, something even though we're losing a lot of players. But this is why I was saying, you know, winning the Super Bowl year one would ruin it because obviously this team's in a, a bit of a downfall now. You know, we're missing positions. O-line's pretty damn old. Uh, old line, we call it sometimes. <laughs> Not really. 
Uh, Nate's obviously young. Ben Jones is like 31, 32. Saffold's like 33. Uh, and then Taylor Lewan's like 32, 30. Okay, at least he's not that bad. Uh, the youngster, Wilson, will start. Uh, the wide receivers, everything on offense, I mean, other than the expense, is fine. Uh, we can't get rid of uh, Humphreys yet. Please, Malcolm. Malcolm Butler, please. You want to you wanna leave, buddy? I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. We'll, we'll get rid of him. Of course, Fulton will be the number three now. Uh, uh, who is this guy? He's kind of young. Need D-line. We need a pass rusher, number one. So the first pick in the draft for us is going to be a pass rusher, assuming there's a decent one there. It's always best fit, uh, pick available, of course, uh, without a doubt. Looking at what is in free agency, Jadavion Clowney getting a lot of those offers. Uh, the Patriots, interesting team in the running there. Gronk is let go. Philip Lindsay, Marcus Williams would be a nice grab. But once again, this team I feel is in a spot where – your best scenario is to save the money, maybe get a backup that nobody wants or something like that, but spending money in free agency here is not a wise thing. I mean, we can maybe get, what, one player if we're lucky. Uh, we get two tight ends to play backup, and then we get Trey Hendrickson to uh, play the outside linebacker spot. I know he's probably not fit for the outside linebacker spot, but... Better start working. <laughs> Better start working out, I guess. We also had another uh, really good uh, player for the outside. Shaquem Griffin. Will Parks at the safety spot. And then the new DT, Kawan Short. Once again, DT not that big of a need because obviously you could just land one of those older guys in free agency. So as far as what everything looks like, uh, defense isn't as big of a need now. We get some backups. Fulgham, who I do feel like uh, the Eagles will not let go, but he is in free agency here. Jacoby Brissett, Gilliam, Malik Jackson, Guyton, Wayne Gallman, and then Spillane. We trade pick 31, a fourth-round pick, and David Long Jr. to the Patriots for pick 20. And then with this pick, even though it's probably, an, you know, like we just said, an unnecessary need. Oh, what about these guys? Yeah, you know, give me a second here. I didn't expect to have... Any other options here? Uh, I was thinking about a defensive tackle, and I think we will still go for that DT. Ooh, hold up. We did mention DT's not that big of a deal. Remember when we said that? Do you have the safety, too? This is a tough one. Because you're banking on development, right? Like, obviously, the DT looks like a clear-cut good player. You know, automatically A- minus, you know, block shed... Or power move anyways. Oh, this is a tough one. This is so tough. It's all about getting lucky, boys. That's what she used to want. Oh, my God. You do have this guy. You have... I don't know what I feel. This is actually tough. We could use a starting safety, but we don't need a starting safety. Corner isn't that big of a need. DT is probably the biggest need. Yeah, Randy Oliver, screw it. And like we said, the most guaranteed good player. But once again with EA, the developments. I mean, this guy's insane. Top five player in the entire class. Number three in true talent. Insane player. Not mad by the pick, just mad by the dev. Of course, those players probably going to go rather high. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see them at the end of this. Most likely. Also, a little mad that we re-signed Johnny because there is a sick-looking tight end here. I don't know if I'm going to take him, though, because it's not that big of a need with Janu, but look at him. Mr. Amani Galvin. I mean, we could probably take him in the third if we want to. Uh, Monch Montel Darby. I'm going to trade this down. We're going to add some value here. I don't think we need to take this pick. We're going to add a late third and a late fourth to uh, trade with the Ravens who take potentially a bad pick. We'll see. The tight end's still there. The wide receiver's still there. I mean, I don't know if that wide receiver really fits the number three wide receiving role. So first things first, let's go for Amani Galvin, the tight end, who is extremely raw, way worse than I would have thought, and this is why you can't trust anything in Madden, kids. If EA tries to sell you a pack on Alton team that says 100% 99 overall, it's going to be a kicker or punter or a fullback, let's be honest. Or some sort of coach somehow. Uh, early fifth, tackle is probably a bigger need than wide receiver, but this wide receiver looks like he has more potential than a tackle. So, uh, you know what? I know this game well. I know that I've played this game quite a bit. Maybe more than I'd like to uh, admit. But 
there's just no reason to do that. You know, there's just no reason. Do we go with the Colts? I'm going to go with the Colts pick. Third round next year. Going to move to 47 in the fourth and take probably the center if he's there, who I did not have enough scouting points to develop or uh, check out the potentials for. Uh, oh, I forgot about this guy. Late fifth, steal and a half, hopefully. 68 overall normal development. Uh, definitely a steal. Without a doubt, that's a very good player. 96 stamina, 84 speed, 87 XL, 77 finesse, 72 block shot. Definitely a guy you would probably not have a bad time developing. And then once again, the center, I do not have him scouted. However, I really like the potentials. So I think I am going to trade up for him. Fifth this, a sixth this for a fourth round pick, aka from the Seattle Seahawks. Going to end up taking that center who, I mean, like I said in that one video, I have a better chance of getting hiddens from the later round guys. And I was really hoping that would have been a perfect timing one. It was not. It is what it is. A decently late round backup. I would look at the developments, uh, but we already know them, don't we? Don't tell me Sheldon was the guy. He's a very good player, if that's the case. And then I do not know if Clifford was the safety, but if he was, then, you know, we really didn't lose at all. So there's that. Maybe this guy was the guy. I don't know. I mean, even him. Normal development. So uh, you know, maybe it's Earl Ferris. I, oh, no. Normal. So I guess you can't really go wrong or right. All right, here we are into year two, 85 overall. Once again, we tried to fill all the holes as much as we could. Obviously, we lost a very good talent in Jadavion Clowney. But in the end, I think we're going to be better off for it because the expense was there. Guerrero, don't count him out just yet. But Trey Hendrickson's got a couple of years on the contract for us. 76 overall and outside linebacker. Not the worst in the world. So, you know, maybe uh, Guerrero gets his shot at some point. Maybe not. Uh, Amani Hooker, we released Vaccaro. Hooker was pretty much the same overall and obviously younger. We're going to start him there. Oliver, the new DT. Kawan at right end. Really, we need a new right end, a new outside linebacker, maybe maybe a new safety, and then potentially an interior lineman. But this team looks pretty good, so once again, would not surprise me to see them do some special things. All right, speaking of better off for it, will we actually be able to afford some of these names now because of it? Rashawn Evans... Wants a big-time contract. He's going to get a big-time contract. Six-year, 50, was it something, million dollars. The Dory Jackson corner, very hard to get. So Dory Jackson will get a five-year deal himself. We have a couple of names. Well, not really a couple, but we have one big name that is going to cost quite a bit of money. Do you sign him? I mean, first glance, he's pretty similar to uh, Clowney just does not have the block shedding, obviously. And more importantly, he is younger. This might be another situation where we just hold on to him and we decide after. We got a breakout, and it's for Mr. Johnu Smith. There you go. Still have no idea if we're going to re-sign Harold or not. Maybe this will be a tag and trade situation because you can get some decent value out of him. A uh, bit of a down, you know, downward trend near the end of the season, I would imagine, because we were off to, like, a really good start. Uh, yeah, we lost three out of the last six, so definitely not the greatest thing to happen, but still in the playoffs, still going against a very good squad. Yikes. Ryan Tannehill, unlikely to get to X-Factor here. Uh, looking at the rushing numbers, similar as last season, uh, and then receiving Corey Davis this time. Uh, just balling out. Janu, was that good enough to maybe get him to X-Factor? That'd be insane. Superstar is perfectly fine anyways. Looking at the sack numbers, we see 9.5 for Simmons, who's uh, you know kind of emerging here. And then Landry just really not getting it done. Picks, though, 6 for Jayon, 5 for Desmond. Nice little numbers there. Kicking uh, the youngster, Rosenhauer, Rosierhauer, whatever his name is, with 12 for 13. Could even be player uh, or kicker of the year defense player of the year mr jayon brown no rookie awards for us wide receiver best of the year for Corey davis looking at db and d and linebacker very close to the top and then kicker uh, surprisingly all the way down to number seven but here we are going against those chiefs 11 to 5 for them 85 overall sick offense but lacking defense can this ground game just bully them all the way down the field all right going to the second quarter not really liking the lack of touchdowns, but I suppose points are points. There's the touchdown. Up by six, down by one, halftime. Close game, huge touchdown. Got the two-point. Now we're rolling. 
and here it is. The Chiefs can't keep up. The offense is controlling the clock. The defense is holding them, and we smoke the Chiefs 45 to 24. Looking at the passing game, Mahomes just got outplayed, apparently. Uh, looking at the, well, it, <laughs> it does help when you have Derrick Henry balling out like he has. 19 for 181 with three touchdowns. Evans had a bunch of yards as well. Bell, two touchdowns, but not great. Really just a bad game you know, for the offense. Bell was all right for receiving, but defense did its job, and obviously offense uh, did its job. They missed the kick with Harrison, but honestly, this one did not matter. All right, going to the Jack. Oh, wow, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Not a, not a super hard team to beat, but it is Madden, so, you know, commence the random BS luck, I suppose. I seen the Jets were eight and one with an eighty overall earlier in the season. <laughs> Hilarious! All right, we missed the extra point on our touchdown, but at least we're keeping up. Wait, safety? It was must have been a safety. Weird score there, but we end up getting it back to a normal one, twenty-one to ten. A normal one that I can get behind too. I like that. Twenty-eight to ten. Jacksonville just does not belong here. They they really don't. 35-13, 35-21. I mean, ironically enough. They kind of put up a better performance than the Chiefs. Quarterback for the Jags is still Minshew. Yikes. Tannehill, uh, you know, kind of a game manager type game. Lots of rushes. Maybe we should actually uh, invest in the number two wide uh, running back because Evans is okay, but we, you know, right back running back gets a lot of carries. Maybe we should have went for like someone like Matt Breida or something. All right, Cleveland, as you would expect, 88 for both teams. Made it to the Super Bowl last time, should have won to the Niners, but instead got screwed over last second, back of the end zone, one-hander. The battle of the backs, two really, really good back uh, uh, running backs. However, they do have a better O-line, so uh, it's going to be a close one. It's going to be a good fight. Both teams very, very equally matched. I'd give us the nod by a sliver, though. Uh, looking at the game, I mean, you can see it's pretty evenly matched. It's zero all. We get three... Uh, so far, a very low-scoring game, 10-0 to at half. Offense just has to, you know, slowly creep up and get some points every drive, and they win the game. Only up by six. Cleveland gets the touchdown. This is scary business. Touchdown and a failed two-point conversion. Four minutes left. The Browns are driving me insane because they look like they're about to do it, and they do down the field. Okay, this is – look at the clock. I can't even call a timeout. I can't even call a timeout. Oh, my God, with this game. I actually had to choose a play and spam the timeout button before the clock just went away. Do you go to Mr. Superstar Dev Janu? Could be a quick throw on the slant. It's not. I'm taking it. Janu Smith gets it to the 27-yard. I'm going for the touch. I'm going for the win. Screw this. This is a tough one. Fulgham to the one. It's Travis Fulgham, the spec catch master. They tell you to go for a field goal from the one. Are they on crack? This is a tough one because they're going to come with the blitz, but if they get us before we can throw it, back in the end zone, and he's going to be out of bounds. Ooh, that was a close one. That was a close call. I don't like this, actually, because I feel like I'm forced to throw it. Ah, they leave him open. Johnny for the touchdown. Easy clappers. People are like, you cheated. Stop. After real life Titans against Rams and then Titans against Niners here, you can't help but feel bad for the Titans. Let them have their moment. Okay, we've done it for every rebuild in the book. Tannehill crushed it. Looking at rushing numbers, Chubb was better, but, I mean, for different reasons, rushing touchdowns, I know touchdowns aren't guaranteed, but guys like Henry and Chubb, it should be pretty guaranteed, so it's it just seems like Henry didn't get the opportunities. Good kicking for the youngster. Justin has been insane. All right, headed to the Super Bowl. DevOps, uh, you know, Corey Davis more than likely, who going against the Seahawks, another NFC West competitor. A uh, bit of a tougher one, in my opinion, at this point as well, because Russell... Like we said, Corey Davis with superstar development trade, basically a 90 overall. Uh, looking good, looking good. Uh, Janu does get to X Factor. Okay, maybe I'm not mad about re-signing at all. Nice stuff. How good is he looking now? 
26 years old uh, with a very, you know, his route running uh, deep is a little bad, but really solid tight end overall. Defensively now, any dev ups, really thought Jayon would have had one. It would have been nice. More importantly, Hooker would have been huge. We did get one for Trey Hendrickson, though, so he got something. He got something. Yeah, I think Harold gets a tag. He's been okay in the playoffs, but overall, he's just been too inconsistent. We got our upgrades in. We are now in 88 overall still. Going up against the Seattle Seahawks, 88 overall for us, 86 for them. Scary defenders, scary good quarterback. Can we do it? Back-to-back -back Super Bowl trips. Hopefully not back-to-back -back heartbreakers. Look at all. Oh, look at that. 99 Russ versus 86 Tannehill. Playing in the Cowboys Stadium. You can't really ask for much better than that. Here it is. Zero all so far. Seven. I will take the first points and them being seven. 14 points now. Seattle, I was about to say, not going to go quietly. They do get three. And then even after the touchdown, they do get seven. It's a close game. Nobody has this locked up. It is now all tied up. Seattle is looking like they're going to take this. Huge defensive stand. Third and eight conversion. And I do not know what happened. A minute 44 left. Tennessee trying to drive fourth and one. Why wouldn't you go? Oh, my God. Could you stop? Could you stop? Tennessee wants to lose the game. They're going backwards. It's a tough spot to be in here. Got to take that to Johnny one on one. And Janu doesn't even jump. That is what we like to call a choke job by the Tennessee Titans. Unanswered in the second half where the Seattle Seahawks absolutely devastating snub. And Seattle's going to go on to win it. Back-to-back -back Tennessee Titans losses to the NFC West. Don't get me wrong. We could have probably played better there you know, on that play. But, you know, I didn't have anyone on the left side. You had the streak look. Safety over top was going to save it. One-on-one, -on -one, Janu. I didn't see it was Jamal. Should have known because that's his side of the field. But it's a tight end going against a safety nonetheless. Even if he's 6'3", uh, Janu, that is. He still should have that look. Doesn't even try to go for it. Easy interception. Another heartbreaker. This one, a little bit more sad, honestly, because... Your team just completely chokes. You know, giving up a touchdown to the back of the end zone, it hurts, but it happens. You know, it, you know, it was just a good drive. Things happened. This was just a complete collapse. Derrick Henry tried to ball out, as you can see. Really crushed it, but ultimately it wasn't enough. And hell, they even missed the field goal for good measure. And we still couldn't hold on. If I'm not mistaken, it was 24-17, to 17, at least the start of the fourth. I don't remember. It might have been for the whole start of the second half. All right, I mean... There's not really much to it, but to, to see what we can do with the re-signings. How much do we have? So our money's actually not bad. Landry does want more. Don't let the uh, the years fool you. Think free agency will be out of long term. Oh, definitely not with 14.8. That's a steal for us. Ben Jones, you could definitely get better than that. I'm just going to let everyone go here. So we have a little bit of money to work with, and more importantly... Uh, a little bit of wiggle room because we can actually trade uh, Harold Landry off. And it's not going to cost as much as I thought it was going to. Devontae would be sick, but there's obviously no reason at all for this team to go for him. Linebacker, no reason there either. Leighton Van Der Esch, nice to see him back at X-Factor. This line, you know, this uh, team does like to run the ball a lot. So we might actually pay some big money for some O-line. I mean, you can see there was two names there that were looking really good. Do we sell out for the line? I think we do. Let's see. Could this be the year we get Wyatt Teller and the final year, probably, of Calais Campbell? Did you know that when he was a Cardinal, I once called him Cialis Campbell, which is a boner drug similar to uh, Viagra. And at one point, I believe it was cheaper, but then my insurance company... What? <laughs> no, I, I, I obviously, I'm too young for that. Although I thought people took that as well for like a different reason. Nah, probably not. <laughs> Alright, so this could very well backfire on us, but there's really no one here left in the draft. And it's already, it's only the first round. You can see these are the guys I have. I did not expect Chester Farr to be there. Didn't expect it to fall that far. Wow. Uh, so I suppose we're just going to take him. And he is, in fact, hidden development decently fast. 
you know, really just like a, a young Tannehill, ironically enough. Of course, Tannehill now an 84 overall with the regressions. Uh, nice whole day to reorder glitch you got there, buddy. Uh, but yeah, with the regressions and, well, without morale, uh, he is an 84 overall. He lost a few upgrades. This is what he looks like. Still looks obviously really solid. Uh, can get rid of him at any time. So, you know, we're we're in a decent spot right now. Uh, Chester Farr looks like he's going to be the future of this team. All right, so the center we wanted is gone. We have Tyrone Galloway, uh, mid-fourth. I feel like he would probably be gone. This safety doesn't look good enough for us to take. So, uh... I suppose taking a player, we're going to be taking Tyrone Galloway here. Very decent looking player, and he is. 74 overall. This is obviously, without a doubt, a massive steal. This guy is, I mean, he makes uh, he makes Aaron Donald look slow. 84 speed, 88 excel, 77 power move, 81 block shed, 87 strength at 301 pounds. Massive, massive upsides. Really good pick. Really good pick. We already have a quarterback with Hidden. However, this other quarterback is here. We might take him as well. Why not get greedy? Because he actually does look pretty good. I think if we do, though, we're going to wait for the later third-round pick. Why not take both quarterbacks? Can always use a backup. All right, trading our third-round pick to the Patriots next year. Third-round pick. To them? To that? For that. Like we said, don't need him. We're going to take him. Douglas Hall, the quarterback. 69 overall normal, maybe uh, unnecessary, but a really solid backup for the next three to four years. We trade fourth round, fifth round, and sixth round for 106 from the Cardinals to take another edge rusher. Well, this guy's actually edge rusher. This guy, the other guy can play edge rusher, but he probably should play on the interior. Stefan Rivers, super fast, super talented looking, and super normal development trait. All right, we, uh, we trade a sixth, two sevenths away for a fifth round next year. Not a bad trade. Kind of didn't land the things we needed, but best available pick, as always. Chester Farr, what is the development trade looking like? It is, unfortunately, star development. Do I want to leave him at 15? Yeah, we'll leave him at 15, whatever. Once again, I didn't really have anything else in that draft, so I can't really look for other things we may have missed because I don't feel like we did miss anything. I mean, obviously, we missed stuff because there's going to be good players that we didn't see, but as far as combine grades go and everything, I mean, I think we did about as well as we could. Finally, you can get rid of Humphreys, saving some money. And Leonard Fournette's in free agency. I will be taking him. We need a backup like him. I mean, we don't need one, but we'll take one. All right, here we go. Going into year three, and honestly, with the way this is gone, maybe the final season. I really don't know what else to do because Henry's not getting better. The receivers aren't going to get better. Johnny might get better this season. Tannehill is going to be retired or just not good at least. Uh, pass rush isn't going to get better. Safety, maybe. Yeah, I mean, this team can't honestly get better than it is right now because we're going to lose Harold Landry. I was going to actually, you know, trade him, but since we didn't pick anyone up, really, we're going to have to keep him and probably just let him go or tag him again. But honestly, I think this might be the last season. I really think it will be. Whether we go 0-16 or we make the Super Bowl again and lose, I, I mean, there's really not much more we can do here. All right, re-sign time. A.J. Brown, uh, 96 overall, looking quite expensive. Not really much you could do other than just sign him, I guess. Simmons, holy crap. That is a number and a half. I want this defense to stay intact, so I'm going to do it. Well, I want to keep some of it intact. <laughs> Harold Landry's kind of a different so story. Nate uh, Davis is young, but I got to let him go. Brett Kern, obviously got to let him go. And, you know, him being young isn't really an actual factor. Amani Hooker is not really asking for that much, so I guess you re-sign him. 18 mil left over to replace a guard, uh, a DT, and a pass rushing linebacker. Remember when I said that we can't get much better? Yeah, this is going to be the last season for us because I think this window's closed. It's, well, maybe not closed, but it's definitely not going to open any further. And we clutch up with a last win against the Texans yet again. Of course, they're only 8-8 eight eight here, but... Looking at the numbers, Ryan Tannehill, not bad at all. Uh, rushing, Derrick Henry, 13-25 with 14 touchdowns. Receiving, A.J. Brown crushes it again. Could be X-Factor. Jonu, lots of yards, touchdowns are lacking. Fulgham, meh. Corey Davis, kind of a meh. Looking at the offensive line, it should be improved. I know the center position sucks, but the left guard is way better now. Uh, and then looking at the defense, sack totals, 
you see eight for Rashawn, eight for Harold. Just not good numbers at all, even with Calais on the damn D-line. King, really good numbers. And then tackles, Jayon could get to superstar. Kicking, Justin Rohrhauser, Wasser, I don't even know, dude. Uh, only misses one yet again. Nice. Joe Burrow, MVP of the league. Luke Stanley, don't know who the hell that is. Tannehill at number nine. He keeps going down like three to four each single time. Uh, and, of course, he's going to be probably off the team next season, right? Derrick Henry, number two running back. Uh, Desmond King, number two DB. So here we are once again in the wild card round, potentially making it all the way to the end to probably lose again. Going to the end of the game. Nice nighttime one. What the hell happened there? The Colts must have been at the end zone for about 10 hours just running their feet. I don't even know what it was. I'm not really liking this game so far. Uh, no scoring from us. They're just having their way. Offense? Hey, offense exists. I was curious for a second there. Uh-oh. No offense, please. I know we suck, but, like, let's stop sucking. Okay, I'm coming in. I don't care, dude. And that was close. You got two guys running into each other like that. You never know what can happen. Gonna hurry up to the line, change the play. And they look confused. And there goes Derrick Henry. I did not know he was going to break out like that. I thought we were going to have the possession. It really uh, sucks there. Wasted opportunity. But we gained some yards. Johnny down the middle of the field. That's a tough throw, but he hits it. And Johnny, I got excited there because Johnny's got speed. Takes it to the 32-yard line. They can't do anything. They kick the field goal. A minute left. The Colts back and forth with themselves, really. Overtime now. Their ball... And they could walk away. They go for the field goal. Offense scores a touchdown, and they win the game. You score a touchdown, you win the game. And they do. Tennessee wins, barely holding on to that one. Ryan Tannehill against Jeff Jenkins. I don't even know who Jeff Jenkins is. He's a rookie. Nice. Getting outperformed by a rookie is always fun. Uh, looking at the stat line, really not much to show. Just kind of an, an ugly one. Both teams just trying everything and anything to try and get more points and win. 91 overall us versus the 86 overall Patriots. I mean, roster-wise, it shouldn't even be close. But EA-wise, congratulations, New England. <laughs> All right, here we are going to the end of the game. Another uh, interesting matchup, Patriots versus Titans. They've had some crazy ones over the years. And so far, this is looking like a pretty good one. 21-14, to 14, we are leading but for how long will we be leading? 28 to 14. The event just got a hold now, and hold they do, really. The offense kind of controlled that one. 28 to 17. Tennessee moves on yet again. Cam Newton, uh, two picks. I mean, this defense has taken away the ball in the postseason, an average of at least two turnovers per game, right? Really good stuff. Sack totals kind of sucked. But Hooker with a pick, Fulton with a pick. Kicking does not matter. All right, the Chiefs. Let's see what we can do. 88 overall them, 91 us. So we are, you know, we're pretty good here. We got ourselves a snowy one. This could be an instant classic, hopefully uh, in favor of us. 3-0 to zero so far. Offenses aren't doing well, but you can't assume that theirs is going to continue to play like this. So offense for us, there we go. Needs to work because their defense sucks. I mean, the Chiefs defense is not very good, so... You know, you expect them to score, but you expect yourself to score as well. Up six, and that'll be the dagger. No chance for the Chiefs. Their defense was good. Their offense was bad. Who would have thought? Uh, apparently EA. That's that's who. Looking at the numbers, Mahomes, no picks, but completion percentage was 37%. Derrick Henry, 19 for 80. Touchdown, uh, Leonard Fournette. I guess it doesn't matter. As long as the number two is a number two, they're going to be bad. You just got to love it. Le'Veon Bell always killing in the receiving game. Kicking, perfect. On to the Super Bowl for three straight years. Is it going to be three straight losses? Who is it going to be against? It is going to be against the Saints. I was just about to say it could be the Saints, and it is. Potential DevOps, uh, maybe a superstar X Factor for the receiver. No, uh, I thought maybe a defender, a linebacker. No for Jayon. That is surprising. No DevOps at all. Fair enough. And by fair enough, I mean complete BS, but here we are. 12-4 and four Saints, 88 overall them, 91 us. Come on, finally, please. All right, here we go. 7-0, to zero, not a great start for us, but we answer back 
They answer with three. We answer with three. Bit of a close battle here so far. Ooh, that's a hurtful drive. We do start off the third really nicely, but defense kind of struggling. 20 to 17, 27 to 17. Offense does its job. Defense does its job. Offense is going to hold on. And the Tennessee Titans have won the Super Bowl in unprobable fashion. Looked like it was going to be a loss. 27 to 17. They finally clutch up. They learned from their mistakes the previous year. Absolutely choked away the Super Bowl. And here it is. It took three straight Super Bowl tries. But finally, they win one. That's all that matters. Obviously, uh, you want those other two back. Even maybe one out of the two. Out of the three. But, you know, out of the two losses. But unfortunately, that's just the way it goes sometimes. It was an interesting rebuild because, of course, uh, it didn't feel like we had to do a whole lot. It was really about money management, which, once again, I think we did a pretty good job. You get rid of Tannehill next, uh, you know, this season pretty much right here, and uh, you start the youngster. You could probably end up re-signing Harold Landry if you really wanted to or tag him again with that leftover money. Very tight squeeze, but assuming the youngster quarterback can play well, you got yourself another two years maybe. Uh, with a chance, obviously nowhere near as good as this team or the previous ones before it because, uh, of course, you're going to lose Calais here. Uh, more offensive lineman hits as well. So the team will always be getting worse per year, but it'll be holding up just enough probably with that defense uh, to you know get back to this stage. But regardless, we're done. I'm happy with the results. We finally won, and I'll show you guys we didn't force a win or restart 100 times or something. Because, you know, you might at this rate be like, he probably got sick of it and just cheated or something. But I promise you I did not. Uh, sack totals, uh, yeah, really not much for us. Randy Oliver was such an interesting character in this one. He just really, you know, he kind of snuck around, even though he was absolutely nutso in ratings. All right, here we go. Going to show you that we did not force the win. Where are we? Team, the schedule... Playoff schedule, and there you are. Played one, force win of none. Once again, I don't think force winning, if you actually go in, even if you're simming, counts. But yeah, that is going to be the Tennessee Titans' realistic rebuild for today's game. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, maybe leave a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitter, Jerome Care, second channel, Care Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jerome Care. Might be a stream tonight, but honestly, Probably not, just going to be honest. Regardless, though, thank you for watching. If you have any ideas for Blast in the Past videos, experiment ideas in general, a whole franchise idea. You know, I've been seeing some uh, ideas suggested to me about a franchise, a new franchise. Let me know in the comment section below. Maybe even let me know what team you want to see next. Of course, thanks for watching. Hopefully you come back for next video. But until next video, uh, see ya!